Hi guys, welcome to the Floaty Lady channel. I have another tattoo machine here from CNC. This one is called the Q6. Let's do an unboxing and don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you. Here it is, another CNC box. Nice, so the box comes padded with a nice little bag here. Cloth bag holding the machine. Yeah, there it is, the Q6 by CNC. So this thing is interesting. It is small, I like that. Uh, it has a pretty good feeling to it. I would say it's a pretty great weight. It's actually pretty lightweight. Let's get the scale. It's reported here as 153 grams. I get 156, close enough. Who knows if we're calibrated here, it could be slightly off, but yeah, about 153 grams, 156 grams without anything connected to it. So pretty lightweight machine. It looks like uh, it's shorter than most of the machines I've tried. The some of the other versions of the Q, uh, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, I think they're all somewhat petite and that's sort of the vibe of this particular machine. So if that's uh, what you're going for to have something a little shorter, you wanna try that out, this will be a good machine to, to give a whirl. So let's see how that works. The Q6 has little grips here on the side. So that's different, I do like that. It makes it a little bit easier to pinch the sides of the machine there. The stroke length is 3.5 millimeters, needle depth zero to four millimeters. The nominal voltage here is listed at 12 volts. We'll kind of play around with that later. So these silicone gaskets here uh, do come out so you can clean them. You just have to disassemble the grip and take these off. There is directions for that. Let's see if we can figure that out. We found more things. We have the cable and some more gaskets here. So you have multiple grips. So if you are working on more than one client at a time, you can just pop on a new one. Let's see how hard they are to take off. There we go. Yeah. So gasket off and the inside is closed. It doesn't connect to the center. So, you know, not connected to any materials, biomaterials that are inside the casing here. So let's close this back up. So those come in and out pretty easily. Let's see. Yep. Going back on pretty easily. So that seems like a pretty good system. You can clean underneath it. It does make your grip a little firmer. I would say it's a little more ergonomic in that way too, having uh, a more narrow tip than the top. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so we are going to pop on a cartridge here and see how this thing works. These are the ring cartridges and this is a 12 gauge 9 liner. And pop that on, see how it looks. RCA connection. I'm really liking this grip. It feels good. Got it plugged into my Musotoku here. Seems like a good little piece. Let's try it out on some silicone. So we have this moth that we keep testing out here. Let's just fill in this skull over here. It's starting to get pretty filled in, but still have a little corner here we could play around with. Again, I have the nine round liner in the 12 gauge. At a 9.5 volts right now. Looks like I have to slow down a little bit. 
I'm going to turn up the voltage. Seems like this larger needle grouping needs a little more voltage on this machine. Let's just go to the highest operating voltage at a 12. Certain sounds stronger. It's a very light machine, so you do have to keep your hand really steady. Um, it's so lightweight that you uh, feel the pushback a little bit from the silicone. So that's something to keep in mind. Maybe attaching a battery could help uh, increase the weight of it just a little bit. That seems to get in there much better. Let's come down a bit. 11.5. So the Q6, unlike its partner, the P6, is a little smaller, a little more lightweight, and because of that, I do feel like I need to run it at higher operating voltages to get the penetration that I want in the silicone and slow down my hand. I do feel a little resistance. I think the weight uh, could be improved though with a battery, and I do think that uh, this could be a very nice machine to use for stipple shading since it is a little more lightweight because that type of tattooing doesn't take as much penetration. So maybe the uh, Q6 will run a little differently with the three round liner. I just popped one on there from Quell. This is a 10 gauge. Again, starting up at a seven. Let's just try right there. Got a nine volt. It's a little bit of vibration in the handle, but not as much as some of its predecessors. So that's kind of what it looks like in stipple shading. So let's try out this mag. This is a nine curve mag from Police Cartridge. Let's try to in the spot here. Alright. It's a nice light shade there so far. I love the uh, grip on the tip of this thing. It's really comfortable, I have to say. You feel that resistance back on the silicone at the at a lower voltage, but it's still getting in there. You can just adjust your hand speed to to any machine you use. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for something small and lightweight and fairly efficient at doing tattoos, maybe not large scale work. Okay, so there you have it. It lines pretty well. It shades and it stipple shades. It does everything you need in a tattoo machine. Follow a link in the description below. If you're interested in the Q6, you'll get a 15% discount if you follow the link in the description below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the Floaty Lady channel for more reviews. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.